Welcome to Venkarna English Guru. Do you have problems in understanding vocabulary in competitive examinations as part of general English? Do you face a lot of problems in the process of how to answer reading comprehension passages as part of general English when you are writing, when you are preparing for a lot of competitive examinations in English? So if yes, this video is for you. I am Dr. Kuncham Venkarna. I did my MA and MED from Usmani University. I did PGCT, MPhil and PhD from English and Foreign Languages University with uh, a, more than 15 years of teaching experience and trained more than 1 lakh students and nearly 20,000 st students of my students became teachers, lecturers, sub-inspectors and, and settled in different field. And uh, I have been teaching English literature, English language teaching and general English in particular in many competitive examinations from TTC to civil services examination. And uh, as you know, general English which includes mainly two major important parts. One is English grammar and the second one is uh, functional English and vocabulary. And in, our, in my previous video, I discussed general English and its components. In this video, we are going to talk about functional English and vocabulary. This functional English and vocabulary which includes as part of vocabulary, synonyms and antonyms, and uh, one word traditions and spelling abilities, phrasal verbs and idiomatic expressions, homophones, homonyms, and as part of functional English, we'll have language functions, punctuation mark marks, letter writing and reading comprehension passages. These are going to be the major important part. In this video, I am going to talk about these aspects. Path to functional English and uh, how to answer different questions with regard to functional English and vocabulary with few examples I am going to give you. So, when we talk about synonyms, synonyms and antonyms, how are different questions be given in the examinations once you finish your graduation? So, after graduation, what type of questions that you usually get in terms of synonyms? You can see here, choose the synonym of the word shack. A small uh, bit in the examination, choose the synonym of the word shock. What is the synonym? So, simply here the meaning is hut. Next, the grief struck people stood aghast at their paddy fields which were about to be reaped, engulfed by the massive floods. And what is, the, what is the synonym of the word engulfed? This is a bit. See, what is the meaning of engulfed, shattered? So the, and this is a 10th standard uh, kind of vocabulary, my friends. Next, choose the correct synonym of the word imminent. Imminent, unexpected. So, like this, you will get bits based on synonyms and antonyms. Next, I am also giving you some more examples like the most similar in meaning of the word gigantic. Very big, huge. So, the meaning is huge. You can see. Huge in terms. Next, you can see the most similar meaning in meaning to the word threatening. Threatening, which is nothing but frightening. Next, smokers run double the risk of contracting heart diseases and the meaning of contracting here, the meaning is receiving. So, simple aspects that you need to understand my friends, how various bits are given in the examination. Next, with regard to antonyms, opposite words, how do you get, choose the opposite of the word abolish, abolish, destroy and opposite, establish, start, begin. Okay, next. Our head was covered with a profuse mass of uh, curls and what is the opposite of the word profuse and now you can see here projective and prolifix inadequate. Our head was covered with profuse mass of curls and uh, opposite inadequate we can say. Okay. Next the most opposite in meaning of the word sacred. Sacred which is noble and what is the meaning unholy. Like that. Next, which word is opposite in meaning to the word benevolent, kind and the opposite is root. So simple my friends, how different bits are given with regard to antonyms. Now you can also observe some more bits. 
Mohan is industrious students. And what is the opposite of industry? Industrious, hardworking, diligent. And opposite is indolent. And choose the word which serves as the antonym of the word pinnacle and the meaning. And what is opposite of that? And steep. So like this you will get, my friends, bits in the examination. Next with regard to one word substitutions. Shaker is a teetotaler. What does it mean by teetotaler? One who doesn't take alcohol. He never takes alcohol. Locus tries to make something less good by criticizing it. Someone who makes something and less important detractor. Next, Rakesh is a stoic. We can say in, and in Hindi, Stita Pragna. So here, stoic, one who is same in pain and pleasure. So he remains indifferent both in pain and pleasure. Like that, you will get uh, bits based on one word substitutions, my friends. One who speaks many languages, polyglot. One who, one who, and, uh, one who has pl plenty of talents, word style. One who believes in God, theist. One who doesn't believe in God, atheist. Like that, some specific one word substitutions are to be learnt. Next, you can see Shankara Varnam is the magnum opus. Magnum opus, the greatest work. Next, Mahesh hates women, one who hates women and misogynist. Okay, misogynist. You can see a person who can do anything for money, you can see. Who can do anything for money, mercenary. So, these are a few examples with regard to one word substitutions. When you come back to spelling abilities, choose the correct spelling of the word, you can see. Perseverance. Choose the correct spelling of the word, defiant. So how are you able to understand spellings in a particular way? You need to divide the word in syllables. The best technique for learning spellings, if you are not able to learn, if you are getting difficult in terms of understanding and learning spellings, first divide the words according to syllables. Divide the words in terms of syllables. Okay, then separate. Like, like this. Examination, examination. So, like this, you should be able to divide words into syllables. The best method for learning spelling abilities is syllabic method. Divide the word into syllables, you will be and learn according to that, you will be able to learn spellings in a better way. Next, when we come back for most of the students have difficulty. Uh, with regard to general English, in terms of vocabulary, they have a lot of difficulty in terms of phrasal verbs and idiomatic expressions. And you can see, and for example, once you, what are these phrasal verbs? Phrasal verbs are the words which are actually in a combination. For example, look, you can use the word for look up, look for, and look up to, look after, look forward to. Okay look up to okay look into see phrasal verb which is actually a combination of the main verb with a preposition with a preposition based on the preposition the meaning of the word look changes look for search look up refer look after to take care of look forward to to be pleased to do something look up to admire look into investigate like that you need to learn specific uh, uh, phrasal verbs that are very useful in your examination. I am giving you a few examples you can observe. And there used to be a beautiful house at the end of uh, street but it uh, dashed, closed down, destroyed, demolished. Next, uh, the journey investigated the scam. The jury investigated the scam and found the people who were involved in it. And the phrasal verb investigated. What is the phrasal verb that, that you can use in place of investigated? Look into. Like this you will get uh, bits based on phrasal verbs my friends. Next, some more examples I am actually quoting for you. Next, the police did not give in. Give in. What is the meaning of give in? Say, so, take back or forgive. You can understand forgive. Next, the phrase draws out gets out and next look after we've been talking about to take care of someone next to take care of like this you will get bits based on phrasal verbs 
Next, with regard to idiomatic expressions, idiomatic expressions are very important in our in our exam in uh, in today's examinations. If you go for central examinations, RRB or central, if you write any kind of central examinations, even from TTS examination to CSET examination, at least two or three bits are from uh, idiomatic expressions. How different bits are given? For example, say two sisters draw a hard bargain over the sharing of property. Draw draw a hard bargain which means work hard to negotiate sorry work hard to negotiate negotiate an agreement in one's own favor drive a hard bargain next you can see the idiom kick in the bucket the meaning of kick in the bucket it, it means to die okay to die like that there are plenty of she is a black black cat or she is a cunning fox and she is a proud peacock, so proud peacock, cunning fox, and uh, and black sheep. All these are idiomatic expressions. Sachin is my apple of eye, favorite cricketer. Like that, you can say plenty of uh, idiomatic expressions. At the drop of the hat, I want to get a job at the drop of the hat. I want to see the clerk at the drop of the hat immediately without any intention. Uh, in, in, at, at this particular time, the meaning at the drop of the hat without any hesitation instantly. Everyone in the office called him a bull in a china ship. A bull in a china shop. Sorry. A bull in a china shop. What is the meaning of this? A person who is very careless is one of no use for the office. A bull in a china shop. So like this you will get a lot of idiomatic, idiomatic expressions. Uh, in your examinations and homophones, homonyms, you need to understand phone. What is the meaning of phone? Phone refers to sound, same sound, but different spelling, different meaning. And homonyms, both you can say homophones are the pronounced alike, they have same pronunciation, and you can see two, 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 same pronunciation, but these words have different spelling, different meaning too. Next. Homographs, these are the words which spelling alike but a different meaning, different pronunciation. And homonyms, all of them. There are plenty of words like you need to pick up them, at least the common homonyms, the common home and homophones that are very useful to the graduate students. You need to pick up the list and you should be able to read. Next, some of the examples that I have given and what is the difference between sun and sun. Sun, you know, the meaning and the sun. Like that and canon and canons. So, these are going to be the homophones, hom homonyms which impact your examination if you go for any examination in Indian context. Next, with regard to language functions, this is another important aspect. In general English, there will be some specific bits these bits test you the kind of language that you are aware whether you know some little bit English if somebody for example say some new person said to you how do you do for the first time somebody says how do you do what could be your reply your reply should be always how do you do you should not say who, who are you no when somebody says for the first time how do you do your expression should be always how do you do several in the history of several examination this becomes a part of uh, examination several competitive examinations how do you do how do you do not who are you not how are you not hi no choose the grammatically correct sentence there will be bits like this when did you and correct gram grammatical aspects when did you see the movie this is the correct op option you cannot say when you saw the movie you saw the movie when all these are ungrammatical Next, somebody says these statements. Why don't you see your doctor for the treatment? Why don't you meet? Why don't you consult a doctor? It means it's a suggestion. It's a suggestion. Next, which of the following is the correct expression? Several in the history of several examinations, this featured. You are waiting for whom now? Uh, who are you waiting for? Whom are you waiting for? For whom are you waiting? What is the correct expression? This, fee, this also become and became a feature of many examination. Who are you waiting for? This is the correct option. Who are you waiting for now? This is the right answer. Next, with regard to punctuation marks, and there are plenty of punctuation marks are going to impact your examination. These are considered to be positive in writing. 
how to use capitals how to use full stop how to use comma how to use full stop and colon semicolon quotation marks inverted commas hyphen brackets capital letters all that becomes very important today in the examination see and th there there are bits i am giving you for simple example choose the sentence with the correct punctuation marks so the answer is going to be the the second one we need to look at he said comma quotation marks i enjoyed reading this is the important text hence the writer used and inverted commas next this is go and next quotation marks and full stop next you see choose the sentence with correct punctuation marks i am learning french but i cannot speak it the right option i am learning french i can't and full stop these are to be observed when you uh, read bits next two more examples choose the sentence with appropriate punctuation marks good evening comma he said because this is in direct speech direct speech which means you should use quotation marks okay he said this is in direct speech so direct speech should always begin with quotation marks quotation marks good morning comma he said comma my name is my name is alan so you can observe how to use comma quotation marks and full stop next you can see this is a general kind of bit not required this is my friends how to use comma question marks full stop exclamation mark and capital letters quotation marks hyphen all that becomes very important for you what are the rules to be used for using that next another important concept is in every examination as part of functional english letter writing letter writing mainly questions are going to be in two types in two ways how to use salutation how to use subscription how to use form of greeting how to use form of leave taking very important parts in the history of uh, uh, whenever you go for competitive examinations 90 percentage bits are to be either on salutation on subscription my friends very important these two are and some common bits like the most important part of the letter body you know the most important uh, section of uh, letter writing body of the letter or text of the letter the following is not a part of the letter when you apply for a job when you apply for a job educational qualifications important age and date are very important contact details your phone number email id whatsapp number everything is very important the popularity of your father which is not required when you apply for this very simple bit a personal letter is written to friends and relatives and and an official letter is written to officers and uh, uh, officials doctors sub inspectors and various other uh, people next how to use salutation my friends you can say when you are when you are referring to your friends or relatives dear rudra comma and personal name should be always capital and my dear rudra here this d should not be in capital if it is answer is wrong you should look for comma you should look for comma and respect a teacher this letter should be always in small and madam should be always in small if it is common noun if it is personal noun and if it is proper noun you were and the noun should be in capital and respected mohan comma respected rajini r comma like that you should be able to use sir if you are not using respect or dear you can say sir comma madam comma the capital letters next there was a bit like this we address the receiver of a personal letter as you can say my dear my dear mohan comma like that dear mr you cannot say because when when you are referring to somebody not not required because when you are dealing with and how to use subscription subscription plays an important there are several bits on subscription i uh, yours sincerely see you are capital and uh, you can see you were y capital y capital and uh, sincerely should be always small and you were sincere student you cannot say you were sincerely you were sincerely these expressions are wrong you words wrong okay and you words lovingly this is correct okay and you can say you words lovingly or you were loving student you were loving friend like that see the expression used at the end of a letter addressed to a friend you words lovingly correct option next 
this is wrong there is no kama and uh, this is wrong there is apostrophe and this is wrong lovingly you words there is no yes you need to observe all that and the pe- the proper subscription for an editor of a newspaper editor of a newspaper should be always you words obediently there is no kama here you words lovingly should not be used you words truly there is no kama next if you don't know the recipient's name you would choose the letter with okay letter with you words faithfully we need to use next another very important concept is reading comprehension whenever you you read reading comprehension how to read this reading comprehension passage and the length should be always minimum 150 words my friends most of the times they take this reading comprehension take it for granted they don't focus on directly they go to the exam they read the passage and they write which is wrong you need to cultivate some habits if you want to score reading comprehension passage cultivate the habit of reading newspapers unknown because you will get unknown passage when you get unknown passage you will get experience only when you read in the newspaper read newspaper one article that you like maybe about movie maybe about uh, about sports or, or about politics about economics you read the article choose the article of the newspaper that you like and read regularly at least for 15 to 30 minutes every day if you really want to score good marks as part of reading comprehension next focus on skimming and scanning very important my friends focus on reading comprehension focus on skimming and scanning very important you should have the habit of looking for what is the story about and what are the questions very important because when you read this reading comprehension passage first read and don't answer questions answer questions which begin with what is the story about and where did the king go what happened to the king for example what and when where who if the question begins with these words first answer if the question begins with if the question is like what is the story about you cannot answer what do you think about the story you cannot answer how do you think you cannot answer when you read the paragraph three times only you will be able to answer these questions at the end so first your answer should be related to the factual questions what what happened to the king where did he go and who went to the forest and these types of questions you can answer and you can answer at the second stage and what do you think why do you think how do you think and which of the following is not discussed in the paragraph which of the following is discussed in the paragraph what is the central idea of this of the paragraph these types of questions can be answered at the end my friends next focus on sk- and you can answer this based on these two important techniques skimming and scanning first get the global idea read the paragraph as quickly as possible normally a reader if when you want to read when you want to score good marks as part of this reading comprehension you your reading speed should be 400 to 500 words per minute minimum if you are preparing for cat mat exact civil service examination your focus should be always on double for 800 to 1000 words per minute you need to read okay the speed in reading which is very important follow both intensive extensive reading because today most of the reading comprehension passages include vocabulary according to the paragraph what is the meaning of engulfed according to the paragraph what is the meaning of gigantic according to the paragraph what is the meaning what is the meaning of draws out like that you will get bits so to answer this you need to have intensive reading you need to have extensive reading develop the habit of reading newspapers when you read newspaper next underline difficult words look up and refer dictionary refer to your dictionary and get the meanings have some certain practice intensive extensive get the global idea try to read the paragraph as quickly as possible to get the global meaning what is the story about what is the meaning of the paragraph 1 2 3 that is extensive next to follow sqr3 sq3r technique what is sq3r technique my friends i have given here survey whenever you read the paragraph first have global idea read as quickly as possible and get uh, what is the para- what is the st- paragraph is about next question what do you want from the paragraph are you go- do you want uh, meanings do you want synonyms antonyms phrasal verbs idioms meanings do you want global idea or the meaning of a paragraph 
what do you want read the questions that are given at the end of the paragraph next read again the paragraph read 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 locate keywords key phrases key sentences and recite what and make a relationship what questions are given at the end and what is the paragraph about next review when you answer those aspects follow this important technique next reciprocal reading very important and reciprocal reading is nothing but develop wonderful skills of reading read use different techniques like skimming scanning intensive extensive sq3 technique next develop good reading comprehension abilities after developing and various reading comprehension abilities master the reading comprehension text and you should be the master of uh, reading texts you should and you need to become a model to other students or else what to do you can talk to different people who have wonderful mastery and observe the techniques that are being followed by other people and uh, learn those techniques and become a master and become a role model to other people these are a few important techniques my friends read newspapers read journals read unknown paragraphs that is the best technique for uh, getting good marks as part of this reading comprehension passage don't neglect this is going to be a very important part as part of your examination next and very important uh, thing is and following certain shortcut techniques following some important shortcut techniques my friends okay follow these if you really want to improve good vocabulary if do you if you really believe that vocabulary is creating a lot of problems follow these techniques follow word formation techniques learn learn a number of word formation techniques synonyms antonyms when you learn synonyms learn antonyms learn one word substitutions learn uh, suffixes prefixes and how does a word change actually like that next collect and read there are plenty of academic word lists very important my friends academic word list if you if you really believe that vocabulary is creating a lot of problems to you then focus on academic word list two academic word list that i suggest you academic word list suggested by gsl general service list suggested by michael west this list includes 2000 common english words my friends these feature any examination if you write in indian context first get this academic word list read by heart all the words think about are you aware of the meanings are you aware of the spelling abilities spellings of all these words and master these this academic word list apart from you can also focus on avril cox head academic word list she talks about 570 common english words are are you aware of these words are you aware of the meanings opposites of these words by heart those 2000 words and 570 words 3000 words you will answer any question paper in india my friends remember next read editorial columns editorial columns reading comprehension very important read one column read an event from times of india or hindu or the can chronicle indian express the paper that you like that the paper that you have access to next but the best one is the hindu if it, if you are not able to get that it's very difficult to read hindu but the pro, but the thing is try start from the difficult one then everything becomes easier next note down difficult words when you read the article next meaning use note down grammar grammar items the difficult grammar that you are not aware talk to seniors and refer dictionary refer different grammar books to understand those difficult words those difficult grammatical items and refer previous question papers my friends with regard to functional english with regard to vocabulary these are usually given according to the level are you preparing for 10 plus 2 or ug or phg i refer and refer the previous examination bits according to that if you are preparing for our tet examination refer previous examination vocabulary functional english bits if you are preparing for csat refer previous bits if you are preparing for sub inspector refer previous bits if you are preparing for gurukula tgt pgt examinations refer the level because those papers will indirectly make you and what examinations that and the what kind of vocabulary you will get according to your level this is very important and another best important technique is recite learn minimum 1000 synonyms find antonyms 250 important phrasal verbs 
250 important idiomatic expressions very important by heart a lot of words get up in the morning at 4 o'clock learn a number of words if you really believe that vocabulary is giving you a lot of trouble next what are the reference books that you can uh, refer word power made is a very important book read in kala that is available with light weight read that book if you really have difficulty next oxford advanced learner dictionary very important one everybody should buy a buy these days most of the people are focusing on soft material buy have hard copy oxford advanced learner dictionary and buy pocket dictionary also which will uh, that will be in just 100 or 150 rupees pocket dictionary and another important concept is rosets thesaurus my friends if you really believe that synonyms and antonyms are giving you a lot of trouble by rosets thesaurus thesaurus specialized dictionary it presents only synonyms and antonyms according to difficult order if you take the word beautiful this book provides more than 40 synonyms and antonyms very important one my friends and buy this and read and and another very important thing is read textbooks of class 6 to intermediate and refer and focus on the vocabulary are you aware of the vocabulary are you aware of the synonyms and antonyms one word substitutions spelling abilities phrasal verbs idioms that are prescribed at the state level at the ncrt books and first read because most 99 percent of the bits that are given from either cvsc ncrt textbooks or state level textbooks my friends first focus on that read stories and recognize the meanings of synonyms antonyms phrasal verbs idioms this is the best important technique and instead of reading the material that is available outside in the market okay next and the last thing if you want a lot of uh, material if you really want uh, your doubts to be clarified subscribe to our youtube channel Vinkana english guru because we are going to provide a lot of videos on general english okay english for various competitive examinations like CTET, TET, DSC or Gurukul or RRB or all and all national examinations that we are going to address. Subscribe our YouTube channel, share your friends. Okay, thank you.